Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Return of the Oberdin tonight. We've got some work to do. We did pass the halfway mark last time. We're up to 39 out of 60 solid, so 21 more to go. Um, let's get down to it. Let's get down to it. Um, East India Company is getting impatient with our work, uh, as is uh, our our dude who was um, like playing, Ah, oh, there's a store coming. Hurry up. And they're like, nah, man, we're going to take our time. So here we are. So here we are. Hey, Omega One. How you doing? Good to see you. So I was thinking about what you said the other night, right? About, hey, those those dudes in the boat that just got totally fucking yeeted into the sky by the squid. We might have learned something about them before. I think it's these motherfuckers here, right? Because this is the beginning of, what, chapter 7, right? The Doom. And they were like, well... Let's get the fuck out of here before shit goes down. And it turns out they were in the middle of it already. So uh, let's make sure I've got my info right here. This should be chapter part one. Yeah. Yep. 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 <clears throat> and then they got thrown, just totally fucking tossed. Um, so if we can do this, um, we're going to say that, oopsie, um, this guy. Uh, is not alive on Cape Verde. Um, he got drowned. By a beast. We think. And, uh, this guy, we don't know who he is. Um, but we think he also got drowned. By a beast. And this guy, we don't know who this guy is. Um, my assumption last time was that he was the purser. Because he looks like a, a, a little smarmy fancy fuck here. So we're gonna call it, we're, we're gonna say he's the purser, and he also got drowned by a terrible beast. Um, that did not hit, like, another three-person little dillabop here, so we're either incorrect on something or we only have two of three. Uh, I'm gonna assume we only have two of three, because we did, um, uh, we did, uh, do a lot last time, so we might not have had another, a spare one to work with. Let's just double check here. Doot 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 doot. One. Uh. Two. Yeah, we've only got the two. Um, but <coughs> we could then brute force this one, assuming this is the the ship steward. This is the dude that ate it through the wall. Um, and we believe he was shot by. Uh, uh, one of the seamen? Definitely not Samuel Peters. He's already dead. Not Patrick O'Hagan. He died out, out at sea, we think. Maybe Alexander Booth. Not Henry Brennan. We already got him. I don't know who he is. No, he died from illness. Uh, I think it was the, it was the, the big chunky dude. The big chunky um, uh, bald dude. Uh, who was that? John Naples. And Peters? No. I don't think it was either of the Russians, though, because we, we ID'd those, and, and they are definitely not bald. Maybe he was a Topman? I don't think he was one of the Chinese Topmen, though. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Um, and then I think we're kind of out of luck there. <laughs> so, we, we have something incorrect. We have something incorrect. That's fine, though. Um, so let me go ahead and undo this. Because I don't know who this fucking guy... I don't know who the fuck he is, apparently. Uh, so let's just go ahead and be like, Yeah, fuck. He's probably not the purser. Um, don't know. Don't know who the, that guy is. Uh, there's probably a way we can find out, though. Because uh, he's got some fancy-ass books there, right? We gotta find where those books be uh, earlier in the sequence of things. So let's go ahead and back ourselves out. We're gonna go back to maybe like chapter one or chapter two and see if we can get down to the purser's office uh, or cabin or whatever. <clears throat> First, we gotta find where that is. I believe it's it's below deck somewhere. Yeah. Student, midshipman, bosun, bosun mate. Uh. Oh, I thought the purser did have a little, have its own thing, Madame. Did it? Did it not? Oh yeah, there we go. Purser's office. 
Uh, Subdeck 2. Uh, near the stern? Yeah, near the stern, I guess, right? Uh, above the Lazarette. So let's... <coughs> Firstly... Oh, and it looks like it's right by Bitter Cold, too. So let's head down there, and we'll... We'll gin us up a memory here that uh, gets us close to the purser's office. Would have been what, right here. Oops. Oh, other side. Right here. Yeah, okay. I mean, that looks sort of right. Let's see if we can see inside the purser's office from like one of the chapter two memories. Literally right across the way. So it's like, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's the purser's office here, right? See right across from the surgeon. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so what about the other one then? <clears throat> uh, oh, wait. Are we not, we're not going to be close enough to the person's office to figure this out, are we? Yeah, I don't know. Like, my, my thought is that we can. If we can ID the purser in his little area there, then, then we're good, right? But we might not be able to do such a thing. It looks like now we're not even close to where the purser's office is anymore. We are on the deck above. Yeah, that doesn't look right any. That doesn't lo look right anyhow. So maybe uh, I don't think we'd be able to get up there on in chapter one, would we? Because those are all below decks. Those are all, all in the cargo bay. Cargo bay three. Um, so I, I, we might not be able to do it. <clears throat> the other option is, um, maybe slightly before they decided to fuck off, he was, uh, in his office or something, so maybe that would have been, uh, that would have been chapter six, yeah? Since part one, they were, part one of chapter seven, they are already, like, halfway out the door. Um, so let's see, what does this see? This is when everything was going up. Uh, above decks here. All the shit was happening. More shit was happening. Oh, yeah, and then this this dude ate shit too. Um was near the last rats. Okay, and then so probably our closest thing is probably while while this dude is crawling away, we might be able to get to the purser's office here. So let's see. Um, okay, this is the dude spiked the wall. All right. We know where that is, right? Or is that going to be, like, entirely opposite of where the purser's office was? So we might not be good there anyways. Oh, no. There he is. Bar -bar. Ah, it's closed up anyway. Hmm. If we could also find, like, while we're thinking about this here. Which one was he? Not any of the midshipmen's, apparently. This guy. This guy here. He was apparently in this one somewhere, huh? Where? Not that one. It's the surgeon himself. No. Alfred. Where the fuck would he have been? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's the, that's the guy we think was the person. He was carrying the fancy-ass books and whatever. And this, we believe this dude's the ship steward, right? Um, what's his face? Ungi Sathy there. So where the fuck was this other dude? There's not a whole lot of places he could have been. Like, everything is sealed up. Um, it's not like he's putting out the fire. No, it's one of the midshipmen doing that. Carpenter's like, give me that fucking blunderbuss, I'm gonna need it later. Um, this is one of the, yeah, just one of the, one of the Peters brothers, right? Surgeon's taking the, uh, butcher off the wall. Here's another one of the midshipmen, right? Yep, okay. So, so where's our, our friendly face dude? Where did he, where did he hobble off to here? Not like we can open the door and get in there. Yeah, I mean, I, th I thought it said he was in this memory. Wasn't it? Yeah, because here we are, and eight others were present. Uh, and um, there he is. He is somewhere here. Uh, I, don't, I don't get it. So one, two, three... Well, okay, let's 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 do a count off. Now obviously not the dude who dies here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, the crawler on the other side there. Seven. So where where's number eight? Where's number eight? Where could he be hiding? Where's his little hidey hole here? He, uh, no, he didn't move along that way. And then the crawler dude is over here. Gonna go die with dignity. Hey, Lord Tracks, how you doing? Let's see, oh, you finished it already. Wow. <laughs> From uh, moving off the other night to go get it and play it to tonight, you already finished it. Well, congrats. Congrats. We're still kind of muddling through here a little bit. Um, we're, we're, we're finding folks, both known and unknown. But this guy is like got a fucking disappearing act going on. Like, where the heck is he? And there's the other midshipman that was uh, that had died. Wait, is that number? That couldn't be number eight, no, because he's already dead. He's already dead, so he doesn't count. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The crawler is seven, and. Uh, Like, the other explanation I can... Oh, wait, here. Yeah, see? There he is! Motherfucker! Look at this motherfucker! Look at this sneaky-ass bitch! <laughs> Look at this sneaky-ass bitch! Yeah, he's gotta be the purser, then. Like, he has to be. There's no way he can't. There's no way he can't be. He's like, oh man, gotta protect them books. That's gotta be him. Okay. But now that makes me wonder, like, why didn't our brute forcing work before then? Why didn't that go like, oh, congrats, you got another three. I would have been like, thanks. We earned it. Um, but why didn't those other ones kind of pop off? So let's go back and take another look. Um, we gotta find Lars humped over here. Yeah, there we go. Let me on. Over my dead body, you bloody day. So yeah, obviously Lars ate shit in the face right there. Get in the boat. And we got dude face here, just totally fucking gonna get tossed off that boat in a, in a couple parts here. I don't know who this guy is though. Although we could probably try to brute force it as well. It's actually, where where is he in the in the photo? Can we? Uh, he might be a topman, considering where he's at. So 
So let's just go from the bottom here. Eh? Eh? Oops. Eh? 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 Oh, that's all the topmen that are left. So maybe he's not a topman. Maybe he's a, a normal ass seaman here. Heh, <laughs> seaman. Not O'Hagan, because O'Hagan died out in the open ocean. There we go. Hey, he was Alexander Booth. Alright. Cool. So, something else in there was incorrect. But we got one of those. And we got one of those. Okay, so we got the three just totally tossed over the boat there. Which is fun and cool. That that one I figured we'd get pretty early tonight. Because we were like, yeah, they are definitely gonna fucking die. Um so Who was he again? Alexander Booth. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know how we would have figured that out to begin with. Like without brute forcing him, but that's a a question for another time. Um so I think then we're done with this section. GTFO find out what else can we do here like how many more are left like that was part one of chapter seven yeah so there was a lot of shit going down in chapter seven so all right so rip lars uh rip edward we already id'd that yeah yep yep, yep. <clears throat> Um, we already ID'd that one. Yeah, that was probably another brute force, honestly. This guy. This guy fucking disappeared. Like, he vaporized, right? He was the- he was the dude with the other dude at the cannon, and, and the, the squid's like, Nah, man, I'm getting a double kill on this one. And he's like, he blasted one of them with a cannon, took his entire fucking face off, and maybe his head, too. And this dude was there, but then he was gone. So I don't know about him. I don't know how we got that guy. I mean, we identified the stewards because of their, like, kind of plain button-down shirts and shit. So that was pretty good. Midshipmen's had the fancy cravats. Still don't know about this guy. He's de he definitely got the identifying marks on him. He's got the, the whole tattoo thing going on. And he got torn in half, so that's something. I don't know who the fuck he is. Not yet. Got her taken care of pretty early on. That was one of the first ones. And then... Did we... Wait, what the fuck happened to this guy? Oh, he was one of the dudes that went overboard during the, during the squid fight, right? Probably the same thing for these guys. Alright. Let's keep going down there. Uh, no. No, no hints as of yet. I appreciate you asking, but no hints just yet. Pretty early in the night. <clears throat> I might be more open to that later on. Um, but, but none for now. None for now. Let's see if we can ID a few more during this massive squid scuffle we got going on. Um, we need to hit, like, part two of this, which would have been... Is it Electro Dude was part two? Yeah. Oopsie. No, Edward Spratt is part two, so not part two, part three? Not part three. Part four we can come back to. Not part five. Not Explodey Dude, we got him. Yeah, okay, so we can look at, uh, the Halfman. The Halfman. The Halfman! Let's investigate the Halfman a little bit. So there he is. Obviously torn apart by a beast. Yuck. Disgusting. Let's have a look around for other folks. So there are the, there are the three in the boat. We just got them, right? Um, I think we ID'd this. Yeah. Yeah. That dude got clubbed in the face. Is there anybody else? Okay, we don't know what happened to Martin here. Like, he just kind of fucked off. Maybe a little bit later. Not in this not in this part, not in this chapter, but maybe a little bit later he just kind of fucked off. Uh, I don't 
know what happened to him. Is he one that disappeared? Hmm, who was he again? This guy here? Mm, yep, he, he disappeared. He disappeared somewhere. Is this is the final spot where he was ID'd here? No, he was, uh, okay. He was present when she got crushed by the rigging. Oh, Electro Dude was in Chapter 6. Okay, okay, we can come back to that. Uh, okay, I think Martin was present for the, the rigging collapse as well. We might do... We might try to, to isolate those two. He's also in Part 2 there. So it looks like Chapter 7, Part 8 was the final... Indicator of this dude. Alright, uh, let's go to that then. I think we ID'd and finished the rest of them. Yeah, here's the dude who's trying to pull back the other dude. Uh, Splody dude, I think, right? Yeah. Or maybe they haven't gotten that far? Who, who exploded? This dude exploded, right? Yeah, that dude exploded. Alright, but let's, uh... Uh, the rigging collapse. So we need to go to her corpse, right? That was our gateway into that one. Alfred. Okay, here's where Alfred lost his arm. Wait, is this the... Is this Charles? Is this Charles? This may have been Charles. Because here's the bosun. This might, this might be Charles the bosun's mate, huh? I mean, he's a little underdressed, I think, but, you know... Uh, and if we believe the rumors, <clears throat> he was torn apart by a beast. And his name was Charles. We're going to go with that for now, uh, until I find some other info. It's this dude's story. No, he's dead. All right, he's he's dragging half a corpse. Like, that's not a work. That's hardly a workout, dude. You're only dragging half a body? I mean, come on. Um... Then there was Martin, right? Here's Martin. Oh. Eh. Okay. Eh. Okay. The other ladies are up there. Um. We already. Yeah, we already got him. Poor Finley Dalton. Just trying to steer the boat. And he got yoinked. Um. We were looking for, uh, the other dude, though. What happened to him? Oh, here. Yeah. He's definitely a topman, but... Looks like he is, uh... He's gonna be out of there very shortly. Probably drowned. Almost certainly drowned. Drowned by a beast. Um... Probably a topman. Uh... Looks like one of the Chinese topmen? Just putting that out there. Just putting that out there. Um, but we don't know which one. Also just putting that out there. Um, so we might have to brute force that a little bit. Well, hold on a sec. Before I kind of commit to this. It's an unknown Topman. Does he have anything else we could ID him by? He's kind of wearing the... He's, he's got the he's got the high waters on. Like, good for him. Got them flood pants going. Good choice. Um... Yeah, there's nothing really... Like, if we could get back... Like, however we 
ID'd the, the Russian topman before. If we could apply that same kind of thing to him, um, that'd be that'd be super cool and neat. Because we've got the marked bunks down below decks, right? Could I could ID him wearing like the, the high water? Like I don't I don't know if he would be wearing his his Air Jordans. <laughs> I don't know if he'd be wearing his Air Jordans to bed, but that might be uh, ID'able down there as well. Um, and then we don't know what the fuck happened to Martin. Like, is this the, uh, is this the last memory we have of him? It's chapter seven? Or was he a, okay, well, we don't have chapter eight, right? We need to return the book first to get chapter eight. Um, he's definitely in part two. in chapter 5 as well. <sighs> part 5, part 2, man, Martin got around. He got around, but this is the last time we saw him was, was here. And he wasn't part of the unaccounted for in chapter 7. Was he part of the unaccounted for in chapter nine? No, we got all of these. All of these folks escaped. Like good for them. Good for them. Safe in safety, in numbers, safety. They took that lesson to heart. So that's interesting. And then we already solved chapter 10. So yeah, alright, so Martin is going to be just uh, eluding us for now. So, okay. Let's back this up a bit. Let's go down below decks again to chapter 2. Let's see if we can enumerate some bunks find our mysterious Chinese topman wearing them Air Jordans in the high waters. His feet are soaking wet, but the cuffs are bone dry. Everything's coming up Millhouse. That's actually the origin of the coming up Millhouse right there. Um, what was that? Chapter 2, yeah? Chapter 2. Uh, and that was the second, the second one in chapter two. So we need to go out and go like that. All right, let's have a look-see around. Um, definitely not over there in that set of bunks. Uh, let's see, what, what bunks were the... Where, where were the where were where was the Chinese contingent um, settled here? They were uh, 38, 39, 40, 41. Okay. Uh, that's 59. Yeah. Russian consulate having a having a good time playing cards over there. It's fifties again. Fifties, fifties. We might not be able to get to the thirties. Fifty-nine. Thirty. Oh wait, thirty-eight. What did I say? Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. Right? Okay. So here we are. Are we going to be able to glean enough? from a little light angle here to, to positively ID something. Probably not. There's not a whole lot to go on here. They all be wearing the, high, the, the Air Jordans here. But was he wearing stockings? I don't think he was wearing stockings, right? Look at what chapter was that? Seven? 
right? Yeah, chapter 7, part 8. We're not going to be able to... Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to get enough out of that one, honestly. I smell. Well, luckily we don't have smell of vision here, so I, I can't do that. <laughs> I just can't do that. Um, well, let's see. If we kind of commit to other dude being Charles, right? We might be able to make this out, actually. Uh, where's... Hold on a second. We might be able to brute force some of this. Let me go back to the, the manifest again. And our crawling dude, which we believe was the ship's steward. It was killed by Charles, maybe. Um, and then, we need to try to ID, uh, this is kind of awkward to navigate to when we're not in the chapter itself. Uh, chapter seven, or I could have gone to chapter eight and paged back one. Uh, here. There we go. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Ah, we got Charles in that one. All right. Charles. <laughs> okay, good. So now we're three quarters there. 45 out of city. 45 out of city. Taken care of. Alright, but I think that burns all the ones that we had kind of stored up for, for brute force purposes, though. So, um, the rest might be quite difficult. That's okay, though. That's okay. We got this. Um, were there any other unaccounted fours in Chapter 7 that we could mayhaps keep working on? Hey, oops. Uh, let's, yeah, let's do that. No, looks like we got them all. Oh, except for this one. Except for this one. Drowned by a terrible beast. Oh, really? What led us to that conclusion? What happened? When was the last time we saw him? Ah, explodey dude. Chapter 7, part 6. Looks to be the case. All right, so let's go. Let's go check out Splody Dude one more time. I, if he ends up being the um, another Topman, he's probably the the non Chinese Topman. <laughs> Just gonna put that out there. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's go examine Splody Dude's uh, untimely explosion and uh, and see what we can do with that. So that was on top deck, right? And for being exploded, he ended up in a in a rather large pool of his own blood. Okay, uh, so yeah, there he is. Okay, so he's he's fallen. Like he is, he is definitely dead. I don't think he makes it out of this one alive. But, like, what do we attribute his death to? I say, it says drowned by a terrible beast, but, like, there's no... There's no beastly things... 
on this side of the uh, of the ship here. And can we we can't just attribute his drowning to nothing, right? Or can we attribute his drowning to himself? Oh no. Okay, so there's more than one uh more than one uh, non-Chinese topman left, I believe, right? Let's have a look. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's several. Uh, well... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. And that's making an assumption that he is a top. I'm guessing based on where he's falling from, he was top. Because he was up. He was up there doing something. Um, do we have something slightly earlier with him, though? So we can find out where exactly he was. Ah, he was apparently up there with Electro Dude. Chapter 6, Part 7. Chapter 6, Part 1. Okay, so he... I'm pretty sure he was up in the rigging in Part 1. Okay, so let's abandon... Abandon Explodey Dude and go check out Electro Dude. We definitely know he's falling off the ship there, but we don't know, like, who exactly he is, so... Uh, I believe this was Electro Dude, right? Yep. Also a Topman. Ah, right, so we are now... on the top of the ship here, which seems like a very precarious position to have a memory. OSHA would not be happy about this. Can we ID any of these fuckers from the air here, or no? Just kinda... Eh, it's not... Yeah, because this is when shit starts, uh going extremely wrong here. Okay, yeah, he's definitely a topman. As are the rest of these guys. Oh, here's our... Yeah, here's our Russian topman. That makes sense. Uh, who the heck was this? Do we know who this was? No, we don't. We know he's a topman, though. I don't want to start making guesses at nationality just yet, though. But, let's just fill in what we got. Start making some guesses later. There's the Russian topman, right? Possibly one of the Russian Totmans. Or no, what was the other one? Persian, sorry. Not Russian. Um, and then other dude who was just kind of hanging out. Hanging out, relaxing, maxing, relaxing all cool. He's definitely a Totman as well. As was this guy, apparently. Man, all, all the Totman hanging out up top. How about that? Oh, we already got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is anybody else hanging out here that we could 
try to ID. How many of these do we have, like, causes of death for? Well, besides him, he's already locked in. Uh, yeah, this dude. Surely. Uh, did we ID Electro Dude? That's a good question. Did we? We did not. We know he's a topman. We know he's a topman. We don't know who he is. This dude is ID'd already. Oops. Uh, oh, right. Now it's, um... Uh, what's his face? Bang. Bang. And Miss Lim is there as well. Let's so we find some of some of the other topmen are here. Finley. So we got that, 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 that. Like we've got pretty much all the higher ups except for Martin. Still have no idea what happened to him. And then, of course, a few of them that went out. Uh... Oh, do we know that this dude was torn apart by a terrible beast? I think we were thinking this dude was Charles. So we made some assumptions about him. We're going to clear that one entirely out. So, like, we might have enough to do some brute forcing here. But that would be because we've got like three, we've got three or four, and then we've got a couple that we kind of know about. And then we're going to have to make some guesses, <laughs> educated or otherwise, about some of this. So I guess I'll just start making guesses and see what we can see what we can see here. Like we've got positive IDs and causes of death for most of them. Like especially who we believe is Omid here. He was definitely <laughs> smacked in the face with a broomstick by ye old cap, right? Except now trying to identify. Trying to identify these guys is going to be a little tough. Like, this is supposedly a one-triangle deduction, huh? I don't know about that. Alright, well, if that's the case, then, we should be able to ID him pretty easily. Let's, um, back these unknowns out. And see if we can figure out, like, what, one, what happened to him. He died in Soldiers of the Sea. Uh. Was he speared, though? Might have been speared. Where else was he at? He's definitely here. Okay, so he was... Wait, was he up top? Okay, that's where we are right now, yeah? Was he up top here? Do we know he's a topman? How do we know he's a top? Should ask ourselves that. Like how how are we IDing him as a top in here? Just by virtue of his uh, association in those pictures? Or did we actually see him up here? He's apparently in this one somewhere. Or no, not not this one. Um 
Oh yeah, yeah, he apparently he is. Where though? He's definitely not the one taking 30 bajillion volts in the back. Was he on this most auspicious of occasions? Must have been hanging out somewhere, yeah? This dude's more elusive than the purser. Where the fuck is he? There's a, it's a very limited area that we can actually access here. So where the heck did he disappear off to? How many we got here? One, two, well, not the dead one apparently. One, two, three, four. Did I count his legs there? One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're telling, well, 14 others were present, but how many can we actually ID? Not too many of them, I would guess. So maybe that ain't a Topman. Oh, I never ID'd him as a Topman. Well, that was that's stupid. I'm an idiot. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five. Six. Okay, so six, six did, did, I, did I say six? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's six more Topman ID'd, yeah? That are still in play, maybe? Although, well, five. Okay, let's let's assume it's five. And check the crew manifest again. Or, not the crew manifest, uh, the actual ones that are still usable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Including the one about to get electrocuted, so six.
One, two, three, four? No, four, five. So we've got two topmen unaccounted for still. Hmm. Well, okay, um... We start throwing names? Tossing some names and hoping for the best? We already knew this guy, right? Yep, that was, uh, the Russian topman. Hmm. We, uh, get closer to this guy. Try to. the particular angle we need for him. There, that's close. That not close enough. There we go. Uh, we have death IDs on some of these. Yeah, we do. To start making some less educated guesses here. Um, dude with tattoos, you are going to be Maba, I guess. There we go. Okay. So, I, I had to make a few guesses on nationality there. <laughs> but alright. Alright. Good thing we all had all those causes of death correct. Yeah, see, I was thinking about the Persian dude for a little bit. Because I saw he was wearing what looked like a turban to me, but I didn't want to, like, make that jump until we had some other things. Um, oh, was he carrying a scimitar? That's right, he was carrying a scimitar before. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Okay, so I could have made that jump a long time ago, um, but I didn't want to. <laughs> so, there we go. We got that taken care of, at least. Um, so do we have... Okay, that guy's been set. I think this guy we just did, yeah? Yeah. Uh, and then there's this dude up here. Which I'm not sure about just yet. So I think we have two more... Oopsie. Two more Chinese topmen left, I believe? Yes. Okay, so... If we can get one other, one other one, like, reasonably well set here, we can try to find, because elec the Electro Dude is one of them up here yet, and then I feel like, it wasn't this guy, right, because we already ID'd him, yeah. Those two are out of the picture. This is the dude who tried to backstab Yield Cap at the end. And this guy was the Russian topman that we already did. So we're missing one more. Uh, Alright, so here's what we're going to do then. How many more topmen you know, overall that we have left? One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Can we... Can we ID the other Chinese topmen from the pictures? Like where 
where would they be? So here's one. We got we got one taken care of there, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know about him just yet. Hotman. There's one missing. I don't know about that one. Let's see what what nationality was old Timothy here. Is he, is he an English? Is he an Englishman? Kind of our unknown dude is hanging out over there. He's a Scot. He's a Scottish boy. All right. Um, hmm. Then the others we have are the two Chinese topmen and the two English topmen left. The other one I just sent. Here. There we go. <laughs> All right. Had a, had a few stabs in the dark there, too, but. So now, that's really starting to put us up a creek with these last few, though. Uh, I believe that was nine now. Yeah. Well, was it, though? No, that's 12. That's 12 for tonight. Because we had six when we hit the 45 total. And we are six past that, so... We're up to 12, and we've got... Um... Not too many left now, huh? 12 left? Maybe fewer? Maybe 9? So we had what, 29, 29 to go, right? Yeah. We had 21 to go at the start, and now we've got 9, I believe, left. So, alright, let's, like, what others are easy ones that we could get here? There was that one, one triangle dude, right? This guy here. One triangle, right? How many others in this photo could we manage here? I think we're we're nearly down to just the the normal semen, which is going to be a, a small problem. Oh, I think this dude was one of them, right? I think he was one of the Russians. They were hanging out playing cards as uh, people were dying of the croup or something. Uh, actually, how many other how many others do we have to go here? 
We're pretty con yeah, no, we know who Martin is. Pretty sure that's Philip. So we're down to one Topman and seven seamen. Eh. Uh yeah, that's gonna be a small problem, isn't it? What else we got? Can we identify any more by clothing? I don't know about him. He's he's a, a two triangle one there, so not much more difficult. The rest of the firing line is almost certainly seamen though, huh? You would think? I don't think they would put a topman on the firing line. There's one other in here, I think, that we hadn't. Maybe not. Where was that? Where was that other guy? I thought there was one more that made it. may have looked like a Topman, but maybe not. Oh, here. Okay, one, two... sure that's him here this is probably the other the other topman he's just hanging out there and then we're down to the down to the seaman boy that's uh not great <laughs> how the hell are we gonna identify them well first let's, let's get down from the rigging it's dangerous up here what were you thinking? Just kind of standing up there precariously as we were thinking through this. Do, well, first of all, do we know what happened to them Russians? To the Russian seamen? Because I think we're pretty confident in that, in that last English topman, right? If we got, if we can get the Russian seamen knocked out here, um, we might be able to, to brute force again. <laughs> so do we know what happened to him? Um, met an unknown fate. Nope. Not a, not a clue. Alexi, I don't know who Alexi is. Uh, let's go back to that memory in chapter two, though get something out of that. Dude isn't the Russian though. <laughs> Maybe he's just being all friendly and neighborly like and playing some cards. This dude definitely is though. 
I don't know why I say that, but it seems like it would be. Like, there was more than one, like, talk, bantering back and forth here, yeah? Yeah. Five, forty-six, and forty-seven. It looks like a vodka beard. <laughs> I mean, you're well, d definitely him, right? Because we've already ID'd him. Uh, this guy here. Yeah, you're probably not wrong, huh? The only one I'm not like 100% certain is the other Russian dude. Is this guy here? And we don't even know what the fuck happened to him. When's the last time we saw him? Moida. Oh, he was uh he was out at sea. Then he definitely wouldn't have made it back. And O'Hagan was out there with him. So we might be able to ID O'Hagan now, at the very least, right? Just need to find the Magical sequence of memories here that gets us to the right one. No one definitely started on deck. Was it with these three, or was there? I think it was with these three. Nichols. Did anybody else survive? No, the rest of them fucking drowned. Drowned or were speared? So I guess the ones that aren't... Eh... Hold on a second. I guess the ones that aren't... Explicitly marked were just generically drowned, huh? Because we got pretty good with the clawed one, which is Miss Lim here, and the couple that got speared, right? Like this guy. <laughs> Definitely got speared. Um, and we think that was the other Russian, right? Very well could have been the other way around, too. But for now. Which one was this? Ah, we already got him. Which one was this? We already got him. Uh, so where the heck are the others, then? Could this have been O'Hagan, maybe? No, we need to go into the... Uh, I think we need to go into the, the one before? Yeah, that's definitely not O'Hagan. Not this one. That's definitely not O'Hagan. So, like, he's the only one remaining, I guess, that could be O'Hagan. Oh no, that went too far back now. God damn it. So now, is this gonna count... Does this one count as a clawing or as a... as a drowning? So there's definitely marks on his chest. But, like, it's not real clear... what's going on there. I'm gonna say drowning. That does not look like a deep enough claw to actually be the cause of death. Love marks. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, no judgment if you're into something pretty hard like that. Uh, alright. Then, that can't be O'Hagan, then, because he's he disappears in the next one. That dude we've already ID'd, we already know Bang. Uh, this dude we already know. That's Nichols, right? Daily dollar short Nichols. This might be O'Hagan. 
Got a pipe. In oh, he's got a pipe. That might be an identifying thing. Do we know what happened to him? I don't think we know what happened to him. We need to go to... Let's see, what part is this? This is part two. We need to go to part three. We skipped over a few things there. would have been dude taking it in the back probably right because that's how bang escaped there we go part three perfect He was definitely still in part four, yeah? Or no, he was in part two, he's in part three. Oh, he's getting dragged the fuck down. All right. He's definitely getting drowned. That's probably that's probably O'Hagan, because he's the only one like even close to breathing. And then if I keep with this with this dude being the Russian. One of the Russians. I don't know that that pans out, because we've got, we think we've got a lock on the other topman, right? So how... Yeah, I'm still not 100% on this. So I think all three of these are taken care of, yeah? That guy's definitely unlocked. That one's unlocked. This one's unlocked. Oh, yeah. One of the Russian dudes had a beard, we think, right? So maybe I'm not... I'm not good on this dude yet. We think this is O'Hagan. So we need to go to, um... Part two, I guess? Not this guy. Not that guy. Uh, this should take us to part two. Keep rowing! This guy. Yeah, this guy. Hmm. Yeah, something's not right. Unless, unless it's really clawed. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, maybe that's not, maybe that's not the Russian. Or a Russian, one of the two. Hmm. Well, we're definitely gonna keep him drowned, I think. Well, 
there mu there must be one of them here. Like that looks that looks like Russian, doesn't it? So who the heck? Who would have been the one to say that? This guy here? Like who would who would have been in good enough condition to say that? <laughs> Uh, definitely not Nichols. Nichols is a piece of shit. Uh, like, he still has working lungs and didn't die this time. This guy's definitely dead. That guy wouldn't have shouted that out. We already ID'd him anyways. We already got him, too. Unless... Yeah, unless it's this dude? Like... Mm. Let me go back to this guy being uh, O'Hagan, I think. And then... Who else would have been like, Oh, mother of God, but in Russian. Um, this guy, I guess? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. It's definitely this dude who took a spear in the neck, cheek, whatever that is. He was definitely the one to eat shit, like right here. Definitely wasn't this guy. Hmm. Unless this isn't O'Hagan. We could probably make one more cycle through this and find out if that's O'Hagan or not. He's got the pipe. He's got the pipe going on, so maybe we just do a little bit of extra... Uh, this guy, right? Yeah. A little bit of extra looking around. See if we can get him with a pipe somewhere else. Yeah, maybe back to chapter two. Definitely not in chapter one. There's not enough going on there to be chapter one. All right, let's head back to chapter two one more time. Like, I didn't know that dude had a pipe before. But now, now he definitely does, so let's see if we can find something. One of you dudes got a pipe. One of you? He's got the suspenders, but not the pipe. Would he be having a... He having a smoke right before bed? That seems like it's a bad idea. Let's see. Let's check, check around for like their personal effects or something, see if they got it on a nightstand or something. Because uh, he is supposedly in here, yeah?
Oh, right. I don't think we know that this is John Naples either. Let's undo that for now. It's like he didn't have a beard, so it wasn't this guy. Did he have suspenders on? I don't remember if he had suspenders on. This guy here? Pretty sure that... Was that him? That might have been him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well. If that's the case, then. Like, I might be making a bad assumption that both of these dudes are Russian. That's... No, okay, they were both Russian. <laughs> they were just in the wrong order. Okay. Okay, so we're right on our on our Topman guests there as well. Huh. Okay. Um well there's definitely three more we can get. And then the other two are just kinda eh? So let's see here. What else we got left? Martin? Yeah, Martin just kind of fucked off or s to somewhere. Who knows? Yeah, Philip got put in the lazarette. And he disappeared. O'Hagan. O'Hagan is still out there. Okay, so we can, we can positively ID O'Hagan. Now. <laughs> He's probably going to be the only one we haven't had on lock in Chapter 4 now. Uh, where's the door? There we go. Last time we need to go through the chapter 4 chain of things, that'd be the best. Talking to Nichols, so he's got to be over in this boat here. That's the only dude we haven't identified, I think. Is this guy we just did? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nichols, that. He must have been talking to him. This must be O'Hagan. This has got to be O'Hagan. Alright, so I can be pretty confident in that. There's no way he was talking to anybody over here. They're either dead or. Yeah, dead, dead, or not speaking English, so that's got to be him. Although, wait, was this, uh... Eh. Who the hell would it have said that, though? Oh, maybe, I guess maybe he knows English. Uh, but still, this is just like... I don't know. I can be reasonably assured that that was O'Hagan, because that was the only unID'd person out here now. Alright, that being the case then, let's get out of here. Let's get out of chapter 4. It's a depressing chapter. At least this part of it is. The only upshot to chapter 4 was Nichols eating shit at the end. Okay, so who's left? One okay, so we've got one, two, three more semen left. Like who who the heck though? <laughs> who 
who the heck's in here that we don't know? One, two... I mean him, obviously, but we think that's Philippe. <laughs> totally, yeah. Totally not related to recent events, right? Uh, Martin, we know, of course. These guys. We, George, I don't know that that's... I don't know that that's George Shirley. But we know he got speared by a beast? Part two. Oh, really? Oh, really? Where else was he, though? <clears throat> There for the moiter. Apparently there in chapter two. And I, I have a feeling that some of them are gonna be <clears throat> decided by this loose cargo bit, which is not great. Um, but alright, let's head back to chapter two and identify who we believe to be Shirley is. This guy is this guy. And da, 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 this guy, George Shirley. So we know that's what he looks like, huh? Well. Which number was he? And do we just know he's present by the virtue of his of his the number of his bunk, maybe? Fifty-nine. Oh wait, didn't we identify Patrick O'Hagan? Oh, I think we meant to, but we didn't actually. Shit. Damn it. <laughs> uh, oops, we'll have to go back for that again. Um, but what did I say? Fifty-nine? Six, five. Seven. And who laid out these numbers? Fifty nine. Yeah, I guess he was supposedly around here. Okay, well, what else is there? Son, chanter, stay moiter. It's part of the moiter, huh? Mm, I guess if he was part of the part of the group trying to get out before the start of chapter four. Okay. 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 Would have been uh, tattoo dude eating it in the chest, right? That was the access to this one, which would have been from. The cabins below decks, right? Yeah. On your toes. Nice. I got this. Go back there. Here, here. Captain. 
Slack the lifts and lower the boats. The whole crew will be on us. Give it up. Ah! Might be able to re ID O'Hagan here, too, actually. Was this O'Hagan? No. Lars. No. Ah, right. Poor, uh, poor Finley Dalton taking it in the fucking leg. <laughs> Ouch. Oof. Already I did him. That, that, that. If there's anybody else really around here. Somebody already in the boat? Oh yeah, there we go. And that was the other? That was the other Russian, okay. So that, that must be O'Hagan then, like he's the only other one that went with him. Yeah, okay. Sky die. Alright, let's get out of this then. Okay, so we're fairly confident in one. If we can get a goodly amount of confidence in the second one, then we can brute forth the last one. But. How do we get into that one? This? I think this one. Chapter 5? Yep. Okay. What the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? This is me. Yeah, I'm looking for this guy, I think, right? Yeah. Torn apart by a terrible beast. Really? In what? Oh, in part four. Shell? What shell? <laughs> yeah, it's really the only one... Well, there's two of them in this segment, then. It's just... Dude kind of holding this dude up. Which I don't know... Well, let's see what we got. Yeah. Eh, there we go. <laughs> ba ba boom. Wait, what was the third one that we had ID'd? Obviously him we just picked. In O'Hagan, yeah. What was the third one? Oh, no. That was just It stopped at two? Oh, it only does sets of two now? Oh, that's... Mm, no. <laughs> well, actually, that might work out the best, actually. Uh, that's um, that's good. We can brute force a little bit more easily now. Interesting, interesting. All right. Who's left? Who's left? Who's left? Who's left? Martin just fucking disappeared. Philip disappeared. John and George. Yeah, okay, yeah, I guess that would make sense. Like, I would have expected, like, a third one, then. And then it would have been, would have been three and three at the end, but hey, well, whatever. Uh, yeah, like, who the hell are these idiots, then? <laughs> We've just got one here. Is there a second one here? I mean, not Martin, obviously. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't even know where this guy is. 
Oh, he's in the Doom Part 4 somehow. Alright, well, John and George, Doom Part 4. What's Doom Part 4 all about? Oh, was that the dude that got sucked out the, the porthole or something? Right, yeah, 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 that was the... That was the squid double kill. I think. Right? Let's, let's check it. Doom. Part four, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with Drowned. And that could have been, uh, could have been George Shirley, and then the other one was John, what's his nuts? Maybe not. So maybe Drowned isn't right? Alright, let's go actually go to the memory of it and take a and take a look and a listen, because that was the that was the meaty like thing, right? Oh, except for one deck too low, I think. Yeah, there we go. Here. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's a devoured. Who knows? Maybe that's a devoured. Or maybe it was a torn apart? I mean, either way, right? Although we do need to identify him as such, right? Well, it wasn't a torn apart, huh? Like, it sounded bad. Sounded real bad, but we've got no nothing other than the the audio cue to go on, really. I mean, unless he's considered to be shot by the cannon as well, which could be, honestly. Eh, maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> Just gotta get the magical combination here. It sounded a bit too violent to be just a strangling, but who knows. Is there a crushed? There is a crushed, right? Yeah. But 
but is there a crushed by a terrible beast? Yeah, there is. Hmm. What do we know about this guy? Oh, yeah. He was definitely, uh... He was definitely torn apart, huh? Or bled out, because he's missing his leg. Oh, that's why we thought this was John. Because his name is mentioned. So I think we just need to find the magical cause of death for, uh, for George here. Definitely wasn't decapitated. Wasn't drowned. Wasn't eaten, even though it sounds kind of like it. <laughs> Expired from old age. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, there's a fell overboard, too. Interesting. Fell off the rigging, fell down the stairs. <laughs> Embarrassing. Definitely not either of those. Hmm. That's interesting. Who else? Who else could we possibly have here then? It's between John and George, right? I'm pretty sure this is Philip. <laughs> and we definitely know it's not Martin. And the other scene definitely mentioned John by name. Right? And the only other John I think was so yeah. Definitely up there. So okay. I mean, unless this wasn't torn apart? But, like, what else could it be? He was missing his fucking leg. Did he just... Is there a bled out? No. Unless it's considered clawed. No, definitely not clawed. Not considered devoured. Hmm. Alright, hold on a second. Let's back up one part here. So he, oh, so he was behind him. Okay. He's definitely behind him. But then he just fucking disappeared out the out the window, right? But we don't know what happened to him after that. where he died. I mean, unless that is considered a cannon kill, too, but we didn't find a corpse, really. Mm. 
Well, unless that's just considered that he fell overboard. No, that doesn't seem right either. Uh, like, what else would there be? Clubbed by a terrible beast? Clawed by a terrible beast? Axed? Well, beast did not specialize in axes, so that's unlikely. Decapitated? No, he definitely made too many noises to have been decapitated. Expired, exploded. Exploded? No. Rose to death? No. Strangled. Yeah, I don't think that makes any sense. Well, that's bizarre. Like, I don't think any of that's really wrong, but... If it's really down to twos here, I would have expected that to, to click in there. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about John. Where's his, uh, where's his part of leg here that, uh kick this one off on. Definitely him. <laughs> Alright, what were they saying in this here? Keep pressure here, holding down. <laughs> Yeah, no, well, it's definitely John Naples. He's the only, the only fucking one left. <laughs> like, there's no way that's not John Naples. You can't tell me that's not John Naples. Um, but like, wh where, where was he before this? Maybe, maybe it wasn't a beast that did him in. Maybe it was something else. So before he got capped there, he was in the part right before it. So where was the crushing that happened here? It was over here, yeah? This guy? Yeah. Okay, where is our good good friend John Naples here? There. Oh, oh. Well, wait, if he, hmm, if he tripped and fell down the stairs and broke his leg or something, how would it have gotten all the way the fuck over to where it was? And alas. 
Well, on the stairs. No. That'd be silly. Okay, let me go back one more time then. We have to find... Well, I have to find where his leg was, and then try to trace it back, because... Ah, oh, where's the rest of his leg? Uh, it was over here. <laughs> but where was that in relation to where he actually died and was getting patched up and shit? It was there, but where did he actually die? I mean, that's where his corpse was, but where was he in relation to... It's right there. But alright, alright, so where am, I, where am I standing right now? Right outside the lazarette. That's where his leg ended up. And then where was he? Keep pressure here. All the way on the other fucking side of the thing. That's interesting. His leg was all the way over there. There's the blood from it all, presumably, right? So how the heck did that happen? What would be a reasonable explanation to that? What would the East India Company believe was a reasonable explanation for him limping away from his leg like that? also a very conspicuous sword here, although that could have been left over from the melee before, right? Hmm. But, supposedly this is a, what, a one star? Yeah, whatever. A one little triangle deduction, huh? Doesn't seem that way. There's no, like, intermediate here. It goes from part three to hauling that thing down to part four with his leg torn off. Half of his leg torn off. Is there a... is there a part after this? Is there a part 5 here? There isn't. It goes right into chapter 5. Huh! I guess there's no justification for it having been a terrible beast that did this. 
Considering he was nowhere near an alive, well, an alive one, presumably, right? This is a one triangle deduction, huh? Or is that just for, hold on a second, is that a deduction just to find out who he was, or the entire thing? Let's see what the hint says here. Hmm. Just for identity. Okay. Okay, never mind, so I don't feel that bad then. <laughs> well, what the heck else could have happened to him? I mean, unless he cut off his own leg with that sword, that would be kind of bizarre, wouldn't it? I don't know that that's, uh... I don't think I can turn it back on himself, right? Yeah, he's number 50. No... I mean, so presumably we, we leave both of those as torn apart by a beast, right? Is it expecting me to get one more here? Before it'll lock in? Or is it expecting me to get the last five before it'll lock it? That would be wild. Can we even do that? Pretty sure we don't have enough info. Oops, torn apart by a beast. Cause the only other ones are Dudeface McGee getting hauled into the lazarette there, and then and then Martin, which we have no idea what happened to him. Doesn't even say that he's like. I mean, I guess the presumption here is that. Philip Dahl here. Oh, he doesn't even let me. Doesn't even let me do that. Interesting. Uh, okay, so I guess what I'm interested in hearing, and you can feel free to answer this. Um, is what they're expecting me to do for these last five. Like, is is two enough to lock it in, or does it require more? Because if it was two, I would presume these two would, would kick. Like, they would go fine. But if they want me to solve the last, I guess, four, right? Then I don't know that we're going to be able to do that. Because it doesn't even give me a, an ability to enter one for Philip and Martin here. Solve George and John, huh? Okay. Alright, well then something's wrong with one of these. Or both, maybe. So then I... Hmm. I guess something's wrong with George then. Because John seems pretty cut and dry, right? Like, his fucking leg is gone. And he died. <laughs> so he got torn apart. So then we're going to have to go back and take another look at George. Because that one's a little bit muddier, but you would think that, oh yeah, he was torn apart or drowned or something, right?
or devoured, eaten, or shot. Cannon with a gun. No, can't. That terrible beast. Just not necessarily true. Cause he was what? He was behind. Hmm. So what you what you were saying earlier then? Did I guess both of these two correctly and it just didn't lock? Is that what you were talking about before? I'm trying to go back through the rest of the combos here and and repeat it maybe. Probably not decapitated. It's not, the, I guess, both correctly, but not at the same time. Really? Hmm. Weird. Hmm. Okay, let's go back and look at George one more time then. Give me a hint for John if I want to. Really? You think you think I'm not right with John with being torn apart? Okay. All right. All right. Well. Yeah, it's getting late already, and I don't want to carry this for another night, so, uh, yeah, lay it on me. What's your hint about John? John! Keep pressure here. Assuming this is John, like, the fucking John around here. <laughs> hmm. Let me roll back, uh, George once. Huh. Oh, really? Yeah, see, I was kind of wondering about that, too. Like, what the fuck? That's interesting. That's interesting. What's his name again? Philip? Oof, no. Not killed with a sword. Knife? No. Unless this isn't John? Hmm. Maybe 
is there. Oh, interesting. He was in this one somewhere. Okay. Maybe I've got the IDs wrong. No, oh, that must have been him. This must be the Captain Stewart, right? Like, that's the one he's yelling at. Just like, ah, oh, fuck. I did something stupid. Um, alright, well, what the hell? Rest of his leg. The rest of his leg ended up over there, but why? Hmm. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna keep going down the list, I guess. Like this is really not making a whole lot of sense to me. Executed, expired, exploded, fell, Carlos illness, killed with the sword. Knifed. I did go back and reset George, right? Yeah, okay. I've been through all these permutations here, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing's kicking in here. Yeah, I guess that's true. Alright, well, if we take kind of like the obvious standout props here, it was sword. And then other dude. Maybe devoured. There we go. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay, I'm a. L hmm. All right. Okay, I guess I can see where they were coming from with that. It wasn't particularly stand out. Okay. Now we can go back and be like, hey, East India Company, read it and weep, bitches. We got this entire book filled out. I mean, besides the the two that escaped. The two that we couldn't figure out, like Philip and uh, Martin, really, right? Although, you know, the eight, chapter 8, right? It's called The Bargain. Probably called the bargain for a reason. They ain't talking about uh, good values at the try and save. Uh, how the hell do I get off here? There we go. We should go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. Finally! Sit down so you don't fall out. <laughs> the 
Okay. Well, not bad for tonight, considering. There was only, like, maybe three or so that I probably couldn't positively ID. There was some inferring going on, some guessing, but, like, only three was maybe, like, truly brute forced. <laughs> the purser discovery. Yeah, I, I kind of figured we'd be able to ID him. I, it, the one thing that led it, led us to him was like he was present in that particular part. It's like, where the fuck is this idiot? Oh right, there's a little tiny ass window. <laughs> little tiny ass window in there. All right, so for for murdering in self-defense, his entire estate is is going away, huh? That seems kind of rough. Attempted mutiny is only a 25 pound fine? Well, I guess back then it was probably a lot of money, huh? Attempted mutiny, theft, 100, 100 pound fine. Unknown. Findings that merit extraordinary valor, exceptional performance of duties. Okay. Yeah, what was Nichols fine? 100 pounds. Alright. 100 pounds, the max right now. So anyway, just for Martin. Okay, so Martin we don't know about yet. John Davies killed somebody? I don't remember that. Yeah, our, our, our friend Alfred, Bosun, awarded 70 pounds. Wait, Charles killed somebody? Huh. Oh yeah, yeah he did. Accident, well it's not murder then, it's like, that's involuntary manslaughter at worst. He shot the dude through the, the wall. Abandonment of crew and vessel? What are you talking about? He fucking got out of there alive! That's great! Jeez. I would have gotten the fuck out of there too. Good job, Henry. And look, why, why does the cook get rewarded for being an idiot and sticking his face near that beast? Some of this seems a little dubious, doesn't it? Ooh, yeah, the dude they got spiked to the wall and they got 40 pounds out of it. Oh, right, Winston was the dude- Winston was the double KO dude, right? Yeah, 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 60 bucks for that, or 60 pounds, huh? Hmm, that seems a little low to me, but hey, you know, back then it was a different time. Exceptional performance... Her crewmate, so you got a 50 pound fine for murder. And the fucking cowardly ass purser. Yeah. Get shit on, idiot. Pay your 50 pound fine from beyond the grave. Oh, poor Finley. He didn't deserve what he got. Edward didn't deserve what he got either. Couple passengers, no claims. Abandonment of crew and vessel? What are you talking about? They fucking got out alive. Man, imagine living through that and then you come back and it's like probably the equivalent of thousands of dollars of fines for running away and saving your life. Amazing.
Oh, and then the dude that was wrongly executed gets nothing out of this? What the fuck? <laughs> Come on. Ridiculous. All right, Paul should have definitely gotten more than 45 bucks, though. Because he was holding the rest of the idiots off while the, the four alive people escaped. Should definitely have gotten more than 45 out of that. Oh, man. Explode Bro only got 40 out of that. Yeah, alright. Topman dude who tried to stop piece of shit Nichols. Should have gotten more than 35. Duties, outstanding, outstanding wages, woohoo. This was a tattoo guy, right? Maba? He, oh man, he gets more than he should get more than 45 for that. Oof. That was, a real, that was probably one of the most grisly ones. Aw, poor Lars. He didn't deserve what he got there. Crushed, crushed illness. I mean... So, dying from illness while on company time only gets you outstanding wages. If that's not a fucking indictment of capitalism, I don't know what is. Oh man, not even Henry, not even Dingleberry that eluded us for so long got fined more than 50, huh? Oh man, Nichols was the only three digit. Because <laughs> he's such an asshole. Oh boy. Yeah, I was about to say, what are we going to do with this weird death memory pocket watch now? One year later. I can believe it. Oh, the thing smells just dreadful. Better you don't open it inside. 
I'll be turning in now. All right. He's in the kitchen. Well, I'm gonna open that package. Ugh. Ah, there's a fan of the to come to his illness. Certainly, receiving a package, he's pleased with your correspondence and asks that his gratitude be expressed for returning the book to you. I want the means to complete it. There are three of us that remain. The overdone is a distant memory. Ah, okay. Dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Ah. Well, let's take a look see then. 1807. I said 17 something. I don't know where I got 17 from, but. All right, well, I mean, we're going to have to put in another night for this, aren't we? I don't know if I got enough time tonight to finish this. Okay, there we go. What is this? Mysterious third item. Oh. Ew. This is used ass monkey paw. Uh. Okay, let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. There you are. Collect your things. Where's the key? To that door. Gone. Yeah. There's no time. We need to go. Well, somebody ate shit. Ah, poor Martin. Well, we know what happened to him. <laughs> Motherfucker ate it. Ate it at the end. He's probably planning something bad, though. Let's see, what is this, chapter 8? Yeah. Or do I need to wait for it to do its thing? Ah. Our friend. Our friend is this Dr. Evans, right? Ah. No wonder. Man, Evans is kind of a piece of shit, huh? And then this is probably. Yeah, there's, there's Philip. Well, damn, then he deserved that demerit fine, whatever it was, and more, apparently. Literally a monkey paw. Lol. Nice. Okay. Well, can we... Can't do it yet. <laughs> Ew. Looks like he got nibbled on a little bit, huh? Or he stuck his hand in that thing, which was probably not the best idea. I guess we'll finish this off tonight. Third shell! The captain didn't toss them all! Leave it! Help me lift this! Well, that's you free! 
give it a shell. Do it! Hoist it out. To the main deck. Throw it over. Lock the door when you leave. Oh, yeah. Martin just Get ate it there. Boy. In return. Uh, the ship. The Uberton. Letting us ID the uh, the deaths just yet. What else is going on here? Is this uh, who the heck is this? Oh, Paul Moss. Oh no, he was. I thought he was one of the good dudes. Who the heck is? I don't know. I don't remember who that is. But all right. All right, all right. I guess we don't care about two of them because they were dead later, right? Spiked by a terrible beast. And then, well, where's the other one? Oh, oh I see, there's three more parts prior to that. Speared. Speared by some. Speared by the cat, I guess, huh? Ah, nice. Cap getting some action in there. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. They took him, they stored him in the bilge there, in the lazarette. And he's like, fuck, get this giant ass squid out of here or you're dead. Looks like he made good on one promise. I guess it makes sense, maybe. They were talking about, oh yeah, the camp chased him off somehow, he's just coming up from the hold or whatever. Cat might have the kill lead here. He had what? One, two, three, four, five. And he might be ahead on frags. Ah. 
I don't know why you'd dip your hands in Quicksilver, but hey, you probably deserved what you got if the... Why would you... Why would you do that? Seems like a bad idea. Bad choices made. Bad choices made by old Philip here. explain how his arm got all weird and mangled. Well, what happened here? <laughs> Poisoned, I guess? Yeah. Ba 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 bam. Ba 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 bam. Oh, you put burned and it still took, huh? Huh, neat. I guess there were a couple fudgy ones that we could have gone with previously, too, huh? Yeah, burned might have worked as well, huh? Alright. Alright, so Henry Evans was kind of a piece of shit. We've learned that today. He deserved his fine of 50 or 15 or 35 or whatever it was. The end. And that's 100%. Nice. We did it. We beat Return of the Ober Dim. Well, that was fun. That was a fun little investigatory puzzly puzzle game so thanks once more omega weapon for your generosity you giving that to me that's a very neat game i wasn't sure if i was gonna like the aesthetic of it but i think it worked really well i mean aside from uh probably a couple spots where it's kind of difficult to parse what was going on but that was uh that was part of it part of the aesthetic and part of the challenge too was going off of some sort of incomplete visual or whatever. But yeah, alright, so let's let credits roll, or not, I guess. Um, is there really anything else to be done here? No, not really. Could rewind it. <laughs> Could rewind it. Um, but yeah, 12 hours, not bad. This is what, 60 fates over 12-ish hours? 30 fates in 6 hours, I don't know, I'm not going to try to math that into average time to, to solve, because some of them were right quick. And some of them, it definitely took a, a little bit to get started to kind of get into that mindset or whatever. Alright, uh, that'll do it for tonight. Next stream is tomorrow night, 7.30pm CST, Shabbat Book Club. So Parsec 47 or Gaia Res? Uh, probably Gaia Res since we played Parsec last week. Um, see if we can get any further, climb our way to the top of the leaderboards. Because um, that one's, I think, got a, a fair few submissions that are probably better than mine by now. Um, but we'll see what we can do with it. And after that, Saturday, question mark PM CST, uh, Saturday grab bag. We'll pick something off the stack. Maybe some more overload or maybe some more bloodstained or something. I kind of like doing the, the different bloodstained modes last week, so maybe we'll do some more of that this week. Uh, and then Sunday night, 7 PM CST, Sunday long plays. We'll be back to Noita for this week again. Should be fun. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.